Hello guys, I want to thank you for tuning in to the Mid-State League Weekly Game Day Edition. I'm on your host, Willie Stimmage, and we're in week six of this high school bat, uh, football season. And so we're going to just do the matchups today. Uh, we got Millersport coming into Harvest Prep. Uh, that's tonight at 7 p.m. And the last time these guys got hooked up, it was a, uh, it was a real lopsided uh game that game was like 84 to nothing the last time these guys met harvest prep uh really uh, unloaded on these guys 84 to nothing uh dan bangura uh you're leading uh, rusher here in, in in the state uh he rushed for 16 16 rushes for 312 yards and he had four tds in that game uh jamal lipsy which is a, a, a the quarterback he's a graduate now he was six of five passing for 187 yards and four touchdowns. And uh, total yards on the uh, Millersport defense, Horace Prep had 512 total yards and Millersport only had 42 total yards. Uh, the total passing, Harvest Prep had 187 total passes and Millersport only had 32 total passes. Uh, uh, up to date on the season here, let's uh, Go with Millersport. They are one and four overall, and one and one in the Mid-State League. Uh, their first game they lost to Beaver, 22 to six. Second game they lost to Portsmouth, Notre Dame, 20 to 18 in overtime, which was a game which was a winnable game, and they, they actually let it slip up, slip by there. Uh, they lost to Corning Miller, 42 to seven, and they lost to Fisher Catholic, 42 to 12. But they they defeated Fairfield Christian, 26. To 12. So this brings you up to speed on the Miller's Point season. As for the Harvest Prep Warriors, they are 4-1 overall and they are 2-0 in the conference in the Mid-State League Cardinal. Uh, just to bring you up to speed, uh, they defeated Bexley 30 to nothing. In the second game, they defeated Franklin Heights 44-14. The third game, they lost to Mifflin 55-48. I wouldn't consider that as a loss. They were real competitive and they could if they had five more minutes in that game, they could have won it. So uh, that was a real I, I would take that loss because the guys competed. And they let me know right there they could compete with anybody in any division. Uh, fourth game, they defeated Worthington Christian 52 to three. And this past week, which was last Friday, they defeated uh, Zanesville Rosecrans, which is Bishop Rosecrans, 50 to 14. So that just brings you up to speed on this matchup that's coming tonight at seven o'clock at Jack Johnson Field. And uh, some of the things you look for, some of the top Lakers look for, Chris Blauser, which is a wide receiver and a DB, Isaac Butts, which is a DL uh, defensive lineman and O lineman, Will Cassidy, Cassidy, uh, Austin Collins, Darryl, Darren Harkins, and Colton Cloes as the quarterback, and Chad Nelson is the wide receiver. These are some of the top Lakers that's going to be playing tonight. And on the Warriors side, you know, of course, Dan Bagura, we need to look out for him. Uh, Janai French, uh, Mikhail Goins, uh, Andrew Halls, uh, Savon Mitchell. Savon needs to have another big game. He's a playmaker. You get him out of his space, he can do some things with the football. Uh, Isaiah Mullen, you need to watch out for Isaiah. Uh, Daquan Owens Johnson, Nick Tyree, uh, plugging up that middle in the, in, in the linebacker position, and Martin Woods. These are the key uh, uh, warriors you need to look out for. So tonight, seven o'clock, Harvest Prep will be taking on Millersport at Jack Johnson Field. And uh, this is your matchup of the week. My name is, this is the Miss State League Weekly. My name is Willie Stimmage. Hope to see you there.